Hey guys, this is Des Asante from the Tech Muse podcast. Um, on episode five of the show, I talked a bit about um, speeding up your workflow by creating keyboard or shortcuts or learning the shortcuts that exist and creating macros. And I got a request from listener Frederick to, uh, to do a short video uh, on how to create macros in Cubase. So this is how it's done. This is Cubase 6 I've got up on the screen. Um, what you got to do is go to go into the key commands menu, which you find under the file menu here under key commands. Um, this is where you can go to learn all the different commands uh, that are available. So you can you can see there's a number. There's pretty much every feature in in the software is is listed in here. Anything that you can find in any menu or anything like that. Um, and if there's uh, if if it's already got a key command associated with it, you'll see it on the side here and you'll see it up here. You can change that. I can type in a key command right here and assign it uh, and and change it. If there is uh, features like say close gaps, right? For example, has no key command. If that's something you find that you use a lot, just simply type in what you want that to be right here and assign it. Um, so that's very, very simple. And then, um, and you can do this for anything pretty much. I mean, the list is, is pretty, uh, it's pretty long. So it's worth it to analyze your workflow and find out what are the things you're doing over and over and over again. And if there's strings of things like we spoke about in the show, um, you can you can create a macro and assign a key command to that. So the way you do that is you go into Show Macros down here. Um, you can see I've got this one here uh, already set up. I'm going to recreate this so you can see the process. So I'm going to say New Macro. Um, I'm going to give it a name. We're going to say uh, we're going to call it C. Let's see, Sweet C All. And um, and then we're going to assign commands. So I'm going to do the one that I described in uh, in episode five of Tech Muse, where we want to be able to see everything that's on the screen. So what I'll do is uh, the first thing I want in this in this string of events in this macro is to select all that's on the screen. So I'm going to go into the search menu here, as opposed to just trying to find it throughout those folders. I'm just going to search for um, select all and boom there it is so I can say add command and it's going to add edit select all to as the first instance in this macro the next thing that I want to do is uh, let's see we want to set our locators set locators okay it's not set locators what do they call it locators locators to selection that's what we want so I'm going to add that command and the next thing in line, we're going to say uh, zoom to locators. Zoom to, there's zoom to locators right there. We're going to add that command. And then the last thing we're going to do is deselect all. I think that's referred to as select none. And there it is. So I'm going to add that command. So now I have a macro called see all. And when I initiate that macro, it's going to it's going to select everything in the mix. It's going to set the transport uh, or the locators around the selection. It's going to zoom to the locators, and then it's going to deselect all. So I've got a macro set up, but right now I have no key command assigned to it. And so when you look around here, it's not that intuitive. Uh, you, you can't just right click on this and say, give me a key command. Or when I, when I select it, it doesn't show me up here. It's, it's still showing me this thing that I've got selected over here, the keyboard shortcut for select none. So how do I assign a key command to it? Well, if you look through the, uh, the list here, you'll find alphabetical order. Uh, where did they go? Macro, right there. So if I look inside that folder, there is the macro that I just created. So right now I can assign a key command to that macro. So I can say, uh, let's say we want to we want to call that um, I don't know, maybe Option Command Z. Okay, so that's going to be my keyboard shortcut that triggers all four of these events. And then I'll hit OK there. So I've got no events on the screen right now. So let me just uh, quickly add a MIDI track, uh, add a couple of uh, parts, add another MIDI track. Uh, let's see. Add a part there. And then uh, maybe we'll add one more MIDI track. This, this, these parts don't contain any information. This is just for the sake of the... Uh, the demonstration so I'll add a part there okay so now I've got uh, let's say I'm zoomed in to say there and I want to see everything 
Um, I can just hit that Option Command Z. Let's see. And it's not working for some reason. Let's see. Key commands. Let's go into my macros. See all. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Option command Z. I assign. I have to actually click the assign button. There we go. And now if I hit OK, you're going to see when I hit Option command Z, boom. It uh, zooms into everything on the screen, and it did it very, very quickly. So it, it actually selected all the parts. It set my locators to the beginning and end of the selection. It zoomed to the locators, and then it deselected everything. And so uh, let's let's try that uh, the opposite way. So let's say I do say I'm zoomed out quite small this way. Again, I hit Option Command Z, and it zooms in full to uh, the entire piece. If I'm zoomed in real close looking at something, Option Command Z, and I'm back out again. So now I've taken this one step further. I've actually got a Mackie control surface. So if I go into my devices menu, device setup, uh, bring this into the picture here. Um, if you look under um, remote devices, I've got a Mackie controller set up. So what I've actually done is I've set up one of my one of my function buttons on the controller to trigger the macro zoom full, which was the original name I had for this um, for this feature. So I could say, okay, let's take F3. It's going to be from the uh, macro menu, and the macros that I have are see all and zoom full. So I can choose see all and hit apply. So now my F3 button on my control surface is going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to press that button now, and boom, there it is. So that makes very easy work out of you know stringing things together that you find yourself habitually using. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, check out the podcast at techmuse.ca. Uh, you can subscribe in iTunes. If you enjoy what you're hearing, drop me a note. Even if you don't enjoy what you're hearing, let me know why. Let me know what I can uh, uh, add or, or change uh, in the show to... Uh, to be more entertaining or interesting or informative for you. So follow me on Twitter at Tech Muse Podcast, the same thing on Facebook, and uh, you can you know, also find the Tech Muse Podcast YouTube channel where I'm going to be placing a lot of these uh, this type of videos. Okay, and hopefully we'll be able to talk soon.